So, child. And then people be like, I'm not coming on YouTube because it be too much mess. I can't handle. Baby, listen. The tides change every day around here, okay? The tides change every day around here. It's a shame, Mona. It's a shame. I mean, you mean to tell us five or six folks left in all of them room? See, this will happen. Let me tell y'all real quick what happened with Mona. I gotta tell y'all. And this is not a shout out to VS at all. But what VS did to Narob by kicking Narob out of her group, out of her chat over a group member, to be honest, that's what Mona should have done. That's what Mona should have done. Mona, if you got six of your heavy hitters, your heavy hitters are upset about one person that's not really a part of y'all thing, the brain nation, all that, you should have kicked goddess to the curb for them six. Are you nuts? See, this stuff we be talking about. That's what we be talking about. You should have done what VS did to Nay Rob. Nay Rob got 40,000. God has got not 40,000. And that, if that happened to Nate Rob, that definitely should have happened to Goddess. And look, I ain't coming for Goddess because I like Goddess. I don't have a problem with none of these people. But I would never, I would never like, let my like for anybody stop me from telling the truth. I won't do it. Not over here. Nope. So let me go ahead and put this disclaimer on it. I like all of them. But when I see BS and CSI stays on the case, this is my job. This is what I'm supposed to do. Loyalty. 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 Loyalty does matter. And if you've had these people rocking with you for years, and I understand, it's not about control, Mona. See, Mona being, in my opinion, stubborn, like, they trying to make me get rid of goddess. No. They're saying we see the direction you're going, and we don't think you should maybe link up or open your eyes or whatever they were trying to tell Mona. It seemed like she just wasn't trying to hear them. But anytime you could get six women to agree on something, it ain't got nothing to do with a restaurant. It's something to be said about that figure. Them folks left you. I would feel like homemade dog doo-doo. If six of my heavy hitters. And then she's going to try to say, what's the business if five people leave? It's not like five employees left. It's like five CEOs left, Mona. Stop minimizing what happened. It's not like five just subscribers left you or six subscribers left you. That happens all the damn time. Hell, these analytics go up and down. You can gain 100 subscribers one day and lose 15 one day. That's just the game. But you trying to minimize it by saying, oh, just if you can't, if your business uh, stop operating over five or six people, then you're found it. Mona, we're not talking about five janitors or five cooks at the company or five light cleaners or window wipers, Mona. We talking about five CEOs. We talking about, that's like the CEO left, the CFO left, uh, the head of this left, and then the head of that left, then the head of communications left. It's like your people people. So who you playing with, Mona? Oof. Oof, child. Mona Simone says, I and welcome Mona Simone. She says, I put together like minds. Five CEOs didn't leave. I am the only CEO. Clearly you're new to branding and have no expert. Okay, you know what, Mona? Don't come over here being foul. Don't come over here being foul. Don't come over here uh, trying to get smart with me because you're trying to minimize what happened with your brand, girl. We could all see. You always try to come over and you always try to like outsmart people. But I'm here for it because you can't outsmart me. I see all the way through you, Mona. Like you be lying, pimping, trying these people. And I'm not with it because I'm a real one, Freddie. And I ain't Freddie Cougar or Freddie's daughter. But I'm a real one. And I see you be lying, girl. You be lying. You be lying. Oh. So don't talk no more, Mona. Thank you. Because you always try to over-talk people, you try to over-smart people, and we see, you be lying, you be lying, oh. And then, you try to lie about that glitch, talking about you thought you had 100-some thousand subscribers, so then Sean Bradley thought he had 3 million. You be lying, you be lying, oh. And then you say, you got six degrees, two masters, but that includes an associate's, a bachelor's, and a master's, that's three. Then you got another master's, that also includes an associate's. A bachelor's and a master's. You be lying. You be lying. Oh. And then you got all these people coming out telling you, Mona took my money. Mona did this. And then you say, I didn't put no gun in their head. No, you just manipulated the shit out of them because you be lying. You be lying. Oh. Next case. 
Um, but this is in defense of Mona. These are people that are talking about Mona right now. Some of these people are people that have dealt with Mona for years. I don't know their crosses to bear. I don't know the depths of their, their friendships, their relationships. I know nothing about their situation. Unlike, unlike, unlike the bitch in the penthouse that can't sit with the bitch on Section 8 no more. I don't know about people's relationships. Like they said that um, Sean, um, you betrayed you. You betrayed your friends, and I'm like, who did I betray? So I mean, someone that I don't know, you know, someone that I don't know, you know, the the the, the, the sausage link neck lady said that I betrayed my friends, and I'm like, huh? What? What are you talking about? So I don't. I would never be so foolish and so stupid to um, speak on something of which I have no knowledge of, like they did. Um, so I will just say this right here. Um, what Ming and Mona and the other people might be going through, I have no clue what that's about. I'm not going to judge it. I'm not here for that. So um, Tsunami, um, Ming, and whoever, whatever y'all got going on over there, this ain't for y'all. Y'all carry on. Carry on, okay? Carry on. Let's comprehend. Y'all carry on. This ain't for you, baby. This ain't for you, baby. So don't see the title and get up in arms. Y'all continue doing what y'all doing. This is for This is for YouTubers. That have no earthly idea what the depth of your relationships with Mona is or isn't. Just like Fournay Rob, who has no idea what the depth of my relationships were with Bonafide or with James Colwell. She has no fucking idea because she sat there and told y'all, well, I think, I think, no bitch, you don't know. Anyway, that's neither here nor there, neither here nor there, neither here nor there. Now. Oh, I want, yeah, they, you know what? They say I'm messy. They've been saying that I'm messy and I should be messy, but I might be messy in another video. But anyway, but anyway, you guys, don't forget that um, run, run These Streets One More Again challenge is already started. It's on the way. And I think Five Babe is say, fuck that, let me, Five Babe and kick down the door and say, let me up in this bitch. Five Babe and kick down the door and say, let me up in this bitch. That's, that's, that's what I'm hearing. Bye, babe. Then kick down the door and say, let me up in this bitch for this Run These Streets Challenge one more again. Rita, Five Babe on your ass. I was watching Five Babe channel this morning, and she was talking her shit like she normally do. And then she was talking about Mona. And I thought the commentary that she was talking about Mona was, was cool. I was like, yeah, because that's what's going on. Everybody talking about it. And then Mona came up in the chat was like, you know, hey, guys, what's up? Whatever, whatever. Mate, do what it do. It wasn't nothing fucked up. How Mona, Mona didn't come in, come in the chat sideways, but when Mona came up in the chat, Five babes start the motherfucking reading. Started reading and dragging Mona. I said, oh, wait a minute, baby. It's only Wednesday. And these YouTube streets is about to be on fire, bitch. I said, well, damn. So five babes was coming at Mona with a, you be like it. You be like it. You know, all that shit. I was like, what? I was like, where this coming from? Where all this smoke and he coming from? Just last week, didn't five babes make a video saying that she loved Mona? And Mona, I love, I don't know what's going on, but you know what? Well, it ain't none of my business. It's, it's our business to sit on the to sit up on the motherfucking on the, on the porch and be like, bitch, pass me that cup, pass me that cup, bitch, pass me the cup, fuck. You know that's that's that's, that's what we're to do, right? Am I wrong? Am I wrong? It's for us, but bitch, pass me, bitch. Pass. I said, well, bitch, let me sit back across my motherfucking legs, then, bitch. I said, well, wait a minute, what the happened? Um, five babe, you got the streets on fire already this morning. So can you and can you make another video clarifying what then transpired between you and um Mona? Cause just last week they, the kids are saying that you made a video saying Mona, I love you, we good Mona, whatever it may be. So can you clarify what happened from then till now? That'll be cute. That'll be real cute, and it'll keep you in the running. It'll keep you in the running too. See, look at that, look at that child. See, I'm I'm supposed to be off these YouTube streets, but I'm trying to help. I'm trying to help set. I'm trying to set you motherfuckers up to have a wonderful weekend. You see how the king look out. You see how the king look out for you motherfuckers. I'm trying to set y'all up to have a wonderful motherfucking weekend, goddammit. Oh, I ain't been, Callaway, how can I be messy when they already say I'm messy? They, they've already, they've already said I'm messy. So, you know, if, if you know what, you know what I say, you know my motto. If I'm damned if I do, damned if I don't, I might as well do and be damned in a motherfucking way, bitch. If I'm gonna be damned, you know a bitch gonna do. So, I got questions. Y'all got questions. Five A got the answers. So, and I'm giving you content. And I'm giving y'all a chance to make content. Now, Jay Wilson, stay out of this Jay Wilson. Stay out of this Jay Wilson. <laughs> oh, bitch. But so far, babe, can you answer that motherfucking question? Moving on from that. Moving on from that. that I'm just, I'm, you know, I'm, look, if I'm going to leave these streets, I got to leave, leave some type of guideline, you know, shit. Anyway, so the thing about it is, is this right here. I look at Mona Simone like I look at Tasha Kay's situation. Now, those two people may not like each other. I don't, I don't know the depth of their relationships either. Sausage neck, sausage link neck lady. I don't know their relationship either, so I don't know what's going on. Leave a trail, Sean, I guess. Um, so, but I'm gonna give Mona Simone the same as I would give I gave Tasha K. Mona Simone, from whatever reason, rubs a lot of people the wrong way. 
Now, I don't know why. I don't care why. Because, you know, I'm too busy being me to be, to be, to be interested in Mona Simone in that way. Okay, you get what I'm saying? But a lot of you have taken an unnatural interest in Mona Simone. And I don't understand why. I, when the first time I heard somebody say something about Mona Simone, it was Jay Wilson talking about her six degrees or whatever. And I was like, and, and nothing is wrong with that. But my mindset tells me, who the fuck cares? I'm, I'm trying to figure out who the fuck going to school for that damn long to get six motherfucking damn degrees. It ain't me. But it, it, since it ain't me, I don't care. And I, and it, I okay, in one here after other. She got six degrees. Okay, good. But, but motherfuckers on these YouTube streets have been just fascinated and fixated with how many degrees does this lady really have. And at the end of the damn day, what does what she eat make you shit? Does what she eat makes you shit? If not, why are we so overly concerned about how many degrees does Mona Simone have? I don't understand it. I don't understand that. So every time they bring up her six degrees or not having six degrees, who give a fuck? I'll be looking like, who the fuck? And maybe I'm just cut from a different cloth, okay? Maybe I'm, a, I'm cut from a different cloth. I don't get it because I'm like, bitch, I got, I got shit going on in the real world, okay? So then they come out and say, well, Mona be lying on people. Now the question would be, now, should people be lying on folks? No, they should not be lying on folks. But if bitch, you ain't told a lie on me, why am I so heavily invested if you ain't told a lie on me? I didn't give a damn about Nate Rob until she told a lie on me. I, I didn't, I mean, you know, she was cool in my book. If she came in my chat, I'd say, hey, Nate Rob, how you doing? But once she lied on me, it was on the motherfucking popping. Mother talking about Mona be lying, Mona be lying. What does she be lying about? Does she lie about her subscriber count? I don't give a fuck. Does she lie about her, um, her, um, her degrees? I don't give a fuck. Out of those two lies, those are the two lies that I hear about all the time about Mona Simone. All the time. You know, you say Mona's calling CPS jobs probation. Okay, okay, but what is that a lie? I mean, you. I'm saying about what I hear. I'm saying about what I hear. I don't know what she do because I'm not invested in her like that, okay? So I don't know what she does because I'm not invested in her. But what I'm saying is, I don't know, notification has been fucking up, Lauren. They've been fucking up. You don't got to convince me that she's evil or she's not evil. I'm not here to convince you to do anything. I don't give a fuck how y'all feel about somebody. I'm only worried about how Sean Bradley feel. And, and I'm very indifferent to Mona Simone because I don't know her. I never tried to get to know her. It's no shade. There's no malice. There's no nothing. It's just that I don't. If you don't know, how can you say anything? Because you motherfuckers don't know her either. Y'all don't know her either. And y'all are so invested about that she got six degrees. I'm tired of hearing the shit. Y'all so invested about how many subscribers does she have? It ain't your motherfucking business. <laughs> Mona said, hey, Sean, five baby needs content. That's all. She's been itching to beef with me. She even lied on Auntie April to me trying to make me and Auntie April beef. I'll try. See, but see, but see, we've been seeing the shit. We've been seeing just, just I don't know five baby like that. I'm saying five baby and I are not friends. I don't know her like that. I don't talk on the phone with her like that. I don't email her. Just like I don't know Mona like that. I don't know five baby like that. I know five baby a little bit better, but I we're not friends. And that's not a diss. It's just real talk. We are not friends like that. So. But, you know, motherfuckers on these streets have been noticing shit. I mean, am I lying, y'all? Have y'all been noticing the shit? Y'all don't know how to sit the fuck back and let the tea flow. Sit the fuck back and let the tea flow. Mona say, I got the proof. I can't stand a liar. I expected better from 5A. Which, what, now see, now see, now see, this is what we talking about. Now, we done asked 5 to get on her video and explain what the problem is with you. Now, you saying that you got some type of tea. I don't know what's going on with the tea is, but the child, pull that tea on your channel now, um, Mona. Pull the tea on your channel. And we're gonna, we gonna, we gonna sip. We're gonna sip from everybody. It's gonna, this is gonna be a taste testing weekend, I hope. A taste testing weekend. <laughs> this is gonna be, instead of a wine festival, you guys, this is gonna be a tea fest this weekend, goddammit. Fuck. Look, see, your king, look, your king is not leaving y'all fucked up, okay? Yeah, like this video. Your king ain't leaving y'all fucked up. This is gonna be a tea test, a tea tasting weekend this motherfucking weekend, bitch. We're gonna get down some harder motherfucking matter. Or the bullshit. But finally, back to what I would have done, baby. What I would have done right now, because see, this is what happened. This is what happened. Two days ago, two days ago, all shit broke loose, right? Mona, we found out something going on with Mona and her camp. I don't know. Ain't my business. But if they want to spill their tea, we're going to watch, okay? That's how we do. That's how we motherfucking do. And all you motherfuckers, in one way or another, have had my name all in y'all motherfucking mouths. So Sean Bradley is going to motherfucking speak, okay? On all the shit. Now, I like this. Yes, bitch. See what happens when, see what happens when you sit back, when you sit back and just watch the fuck shit go on. You're like, oh, shit, bitch. Anyway. Now, I've tried, Mona said, I've tried to avoid that girl, and I still will, but you finna lie, but you not, but you ain't finna lie to kick it. Oof, all right, what y'all, Craig, Craig, oof, Craig, Craig, anyway. Now, five babe, the way that you gotta play, the way you, I would've played the shit, two days ago, shit popped off with Mona her camp. Olivia the Oracle was handling down there on her motherfucking channel. Motherfucking Mona, like a G, rolled up in that motherfucker, sat on the line, took every blow, every punch, did what, you know, you know she took it. 
whether she, you know, she, whatever it was coming her way, Mona, Mona, was, Mona was open for it. She was ready for it, okay? Moses, we done found out, been fighting each other behind the scenes. And now it's out in the street. When Sean Bradley said, I'm going to step off these YouTube streets, all y'all lost y'all motherfucking minds because the shining bright star was nowhere to be, be found. And since I was nowhere to be found, y'all had to, y'all had to, well, let me get this bitch, well, let me get this bitch. Y'all motherfuckers showed y'all fucking asses. Y'all showed y'all, I mean, y'all showed y'all asses to the, mm. Just showed y'all asses. Were y'all not entertained? Were y'all not entertained? But they say Sean Bradley messed it. I moved away. And them hoes went at it. Okay? And they still been going at it. And I'm going to be away this weekend too. And they still going to be going at it. Five say let me in. <laughs> Five say let me in, bitch. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> We all think alike. We don't dare to be different or think differently, and it's something that I despise. I don't like being around a lot of people that agree with me just to agree with me. I like to grow. And I can only speak for myself. I can't tell you what other people tell you about me, especially those people that don't know me. Only I can tell you about me, or people that actually know me can tell you about me. People that don't know me can't tell you about me. They can only tell you what they think. So group think is when, when we get together and we all decide on one way of thinking. And none of us will let each other think outside the box. Think of church. Church is a form of group think. And church is a religion. I know a lot of us are spiritual. We're not religious. Um, so you definitely understand. Don't think outside the box. Think just like us. That's group think. Group think is ter terrible because group think creates cults. Cults end up like Jim Jones drinking a Kool-Aid and dying. I'm not a fan of cults. Not a fan of group think. I'm a fan of individual think. That's why here at the Brain Nation, everyone has their own mind. You're encouraged to have your own mind and your own brand. You are all great individually. You should be confident individually. Not narcissistic, but confident. On your achievements, where you are in life, and even who you are as a person. That's what I stand for. I just look normal. I'm sure, and I think that's what throws people off fancy. Like, they see me and I look normal. That's okay. They see me and I look normal, and then when I'm weird, they're like, that don't match. Something's wrong with this girl. But we know, we know. My Are y'all sending her money? Dollar sign on the Simone on the Cash App. Y'all know they can't hate. They hate when y'all send me money. Dollar sign on the Simone on the Cash App. Yes. Support your content creators. Honey, let me explain something to you, Erica. Erica King, it is not a scam to accept money from a friend when you need it. That's not a scam, darling. A scam is not accepting tips and donations for your work, darling. That's not a scam. I guarantee you every other content creator I already sent out the challenge if content creators see that little brain down there see that little hand down in the right hand of my screen that's for you Erica Key you drop something boo you drop something bitch you drop something dollar sign on this morning on the cash out they hate it shit I've been I've been going through a struggle and cause somebody helped me they hate it they so mad Ooh. no and damn she knowing she just mad cause she wish she would have got it I ain't stupid now I'm from the hood I already I've been peep game I know what y'all really mad about I know y'all are really mad, like, damn, why that bitch deserve eight grand? Bitch, I'm worth it. You don't think I'm worth it? Shit, I did. I thought I was. Shit, fool the fuck out of me. I ain't know it was all that. Shit, I ain't even have to ask for the shit. It was go check your cash app, okay? And I'm wrong for that. All right, yeah. <laughs> you let me know when somebody offer you eight grand and you, you don't take it, then you call me up and tell me that you didn't take it. You do that, all right, boo? And tune in, dollar sign on a small, on a cash app. Tip your content creator, really just $1, $2, $5 to $1 million. Because if you send me $1 million, I will take it. Boom. Because unless you're going to bring all of the colors of the rainbow, don't come around here, Rita. Don't bring your ass around here. Now, let me tell y'all something right now. Look here. Ooh, look at them edges, girl. Look at them edges, girl. Ooh, child, that's a bad batch. Look at them edges. Ooh, what's up? What's up? Who wants it with the queen and the fire? What's up, girl? Now, listen. I don't know what Rita don't do over there, but there's a method to my madness this evening. Hold on. 
because this is a combination of sexy clean and absolute. Grr. Uh, 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 <laughs> Child, I hope y'all ready. I, I just hope y'all ready. Welcome everyone to the chat. Honey, you guys are the bomb.com. Listen, don't invite me to no challenge, Riza, unless you're gonna give it to the peoples, Riza. Okay, okay. Now, Fa is over here with five colors because I am the mermaid princess. Okay, and you know what, y'all? Let me tell y'all. And thank you, whoever that was that gave me the super chat, child. Let me tell y'all something. This absolute got me sweating like a hoe in church. Bring it. Did I bring it to the ponytail challenge? This is what I'm trying to see. Oh, I told y'all my babe had an old nasty monster back there. Look, only reason I'm showing y'all that dunk, that is for the Nate and the Rob. Because all of these fake ass ponytails in my head, they represent one of these fake ass content creators on here. And as we go along, I'm going to see if you guys can guess who it is before I even say it. Let's go ahead and start with the Nay and the Rob. Where that bitch at? Now listen, don't come around here if y'all don't want to hear a hoe get roasted. Listen, and I'm not ever going to roast Rita because that's my girl, okay? I'm going to roast the rest of you hoes. Okay. So the blood represents when they went and got that fat out of her back, which they should have got it out of her damn neck because it looked like they Rob swallowed a whole ass and it got stuck. But when they sucked all that fat out of her back instead of her neck, they put it in her arse. So this is for you, Nayrob. And then you say we should all want to be like you and look like you. Baby, the knife did that for you, honey. What else did you go get pumped up? Because if I were you, Nayrob, if I were you, I would have said, no, doctor. You will not skip over this neck to get to my ass when there's only one person in the whole world that's going to see my ass, but everybody everywhere has got to look at this hot dog pack neck. No, doctor. No, 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 doctor. What did you go off and do, Rob? You went and got under the knife. So yours did come with, for, uh, with blood, sweat, and tears. And then you think that we want to be like you? Let me show you what Frank and Rosie's daughter did for Fi Babe. I didn't need Dr. Miami, baby. I had Dr. Jesus. Let me show you what Dr. Jesus did for the Fi Nay Rob. Can your booty pop like that, Nay Rob? Or do it, is it real hard? Cause see, my booty, my, my booty move when I tell it to, Nay Rob.
They call me Fire Babe because I'm a firecracker, okay? I pop off. But I don't just pop off. Like, I walk it like I talk it. So, some people can't handle my realness. Because that's all it is. That's all it is. I'm not phony. I'm not phony. I'm not fake. I like to deal with things head on. I don't got time to play little kid ass games. I'm not that person. And see, it's a lot of game playing going on behind the scenes. Behind the scenes. When my camera not rolling, it's a lot of stuff that goes on behind the scenes. Trust me. Okay? Y'all, how else y'all think these pictures of these folks get circulated if it ain't happening behind the damn scenes? Huh? How else are we finding out that uh, uh, people getting doxxed if it's not happening behind the scenes? Hell, they not doing it on, they not coming on YouTube doxing you. You finding out after they done doxxed you. So it's a lot of shit that happens behind the scenes. Now, as far as I'm concerned, I am not interested in that bullshit. I'm not. Because y'all think YouTube is messy? The shit that happens behind the scenes is much, much worse. Trust and believe it. If you don't like it, don't come around here. Because this is my shit around here. This this me. All this. I, I got all this right here. I rock all this and I do a very good job. Very good job. Very good job. Now, I got some stories to tell y'all. And it's going to be a minute. I'm glad y'all laughed and, and had a ball last night. Because right now, it's about to get real. <laughs> Baby, it was so much fake hair flowing last night. But this morning, honey, we are all natural, girl. It's about to get real. And I'm going to tell you. Let me tell y'all. I, I keep it real, okay? If I don't like you, I'm going to tell you I don't like you. And I'm going to tell you to your face. I'm not going to go behind your back. I'm going to tell you to your face. I don't like you. I'm not going to call nobody and tell them. No, I'm going to tell you. I don't like you. That's how I am. I don't know any other way to be. I'm not out here trying to impress nobody. My man is highly impressed. I am highly impressed. My daughter is highly impressed. There is nobody in YouTube world that I am trying to impress. Nobody. I present to you, fine. Take her or leave her. This is what you get. What you see is what you get. As far as behind the scenes, I keep it as real behind the scenes as I do in front of this damn camera. Really, real, real. If a broad get out of pocket behind the scenes, she gets checked just like she would if she got out of pocket in this chat. Because I'm a real one. And the more I'm on these, these YouTube streets, you know what I'm finding out? It's not a lot of us. Good morning, Olivia the Oracle. It's not a lot of us. It's a whole lot of ass kissing, lying, sucking up, running up behind, manipulating, calling, taping. It's a whole lot of that shit going on. So if y'all don't want to handle what happens behind the scenes, then don't handle it. And please don't ever let yourself get it mistaken that I give a fuck about what you think about me. Because I don't. And that's for everybody. I don't want to leave anybody out this morning. This is how I went. See, when I call Mona fake and a fraud, but she ain't the only one around here taping. Don't get it twisted. Mona is not the only one around here taping. But when I call Mona, yeah, I'm finna put them on blast. This. I'm finna put them on blast. I don't know how long it's gonna take me to get to the end, but I'm finna put them on blast. This a real one around here, girl. Now, let me tell y'all what happened. And let me take my time. There was a situation in which... I made a video. I made a video called The Seven Types of Shit. And when I got to this one part, I got to one type of shit and it was about the person that's real smart, but they dumb as hell. Like they got all these degrees, but they on YouTube on this dumb stuff with us. You got six degrees, but you on this dumb stuff. So of course the hit dog hollered, which was Mona Simone. Mona Simone, princess, please, cause I'm having church this morning with my peoples. Keep it down. Mona Simone did not contact me. Instead of Mona Simone, this instead of Mona Simone contacting me, she goes and contacts on site April, as if on site April is my damn handler. Now I'm the content creator, but you go contact a subscriber about something that I that I said. So listen, that was months ago, y'all. I had been on to Mona then when I made the video. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna bring something to y'all remembrance. I gotta remind y'all of this. 
Y'all remember that video of Mona saying she's leaving YouTube? In that video, Mona stated she's unsubscribing to everybody except for Heidi and Tracy. And she gonna give all of them her receipts. Remember that lie she told back then? That was right after I made that video. Now let me tell y'all what happened behind the scenes in between Mona making that video and me making that video about shit. Because, yeah, Mona, you still do fall in that category of people that's full of shit. Yes, you do. But instead of Mona contacting me, because I didn't say Mona's name in the video, but clearly she knew what was up. But instead of Mona contacting me, she contacts on-site April. So now, I still haven't spoken to Mona. So now I'm getting third-party information. I'm getting information from on-site April. When I talk to on-site April, on-site April say, Fi Bae, Mona sent me a clip of your video and told me in a text, start at the 12 minute and 45 second mark. See, it's good to keep all records. I keep all records, all records, okay? I don't play, because these people think they slick and they not. They not even cute, they not smart, they not slick. They not anything to me. So, and so then when I see Mona make a video, okay, so on side April say, Fabe, I got this uh, text from Mona saying, look at this message from Fabe. This is why I'm leaving YouTube. And then Mona go off and make a video saying, I'm leaving YouTube. This is why. She never mentioned my name, but she put in her, uh, her uh, description, hashtag Fabe. Did anybody catch that back then? When Mona made her I'm leaving YouTube video, she put in the description box, hashtag fight babe. But she didn't say anything about me in the whole video. That is because behind the scenes, she texted April saying, um, um, go to this point of the video. In other words, I know she's talking about me and this is why I'm leaving YouTube. So then Mona makes this video and never says my name, but says she's leaving YouTube, whatever. So at that point, I'm like, wow, that's what I said, Courtney. I'm like, come on now. Cause see, at this point, although I figured Mona was a scammer, I still adored her. I still adored Mona because uh, she had just got off that uh, Cardi B interview. Um, and I just had high, um, I really thought big of Mona. I didn't, I didn't know she was this grimy. Like she lower than I would ever go. I didn't know Mona was that grimy. You know what I'm saying? So, so I'm like, oh, hell no. I know Mona is not leaving YouTube over something that petty. Like, that's dumb. I know that's not why Mona leaving YouTube. So I call on-site April. And I'm like, on-site, I need to talk to Mona. On-site April had somebody else on the phone. On-site April was telling me that that was not Mona's first time saying something about me to her. See, that's why you can't call me. You can't call my phone. Nobody. Nobody. The only people I want to talk to are my moderators. Because these people even want to get in your moderator's heads. Y'all know that? These damn people want to contact your moderator. Because you got these subscribers out here that want to go off behind the scenes and talk to your moderators. Let me talk to your moderators. Why? Call me before you go live. Why? Why? Really don't even be the content creators. It be these damn subscribers. So when I heard Mona, when I heard that video from Mona saying she was leaving, and then I put two and two together, like she called herself leaving because of me. I was like, oh, hell no. So I called on-site April. On-site April had somebody on the phone. That person who was on the phone with on-site April said, Fine, babe, Mona been wanting you to call her. On-site April never told me that. Onside April never told me Mona one. The person that was on the phone with Onside at the time when Onside when I talked to Onside April told me that. So apparently that person was also on the phone when Onside April was talking to Mona. Y'all see how that went? The person that was on the phone was like, "Fine, babe, Mona had asked to talk to you days ago." I'm like, "Oh, I didn't know that. Why wouldn't you tell me that, Onside April? Why wouldn't you tell me that?" So then. She tells me, and it's the second time Mona has contacted me complaining about you, Fi Bay. So I'm like, oh, really? So I call Mona. I say, because see, this is what real women do. Real women get on the phone when it's time to iron out real shit. We don't play these crackhead I know I don't. I can't speak for nobody else. When it comes to me, 
I like to deal with you head on. And people like to be real messy, but they don't want to deal with you head on. They don't want to tell the whole truth, nothing but the truth. They do throw subliminals. And then they'll turn around and say they don't like subliminals. But you throw subliminals. I'm saying names, baby. Why not? Why wouldn't I? <laughs> the hell? So I talked to Mona. Me and Mona get on the phone. Fred and daughter say, Hi, babe, I'm recording this call. I let Mona know. That's fine. She did let me know. No problem right there, because she let me know. I had questions. I used my call. This is what Mona and I talked about. And Mona, you can release this tape. See, when I get done with my, my series, ain't none of y'all tapes going to matter, because the whole truth going to be out, because I don't got time to lie and spin a narrative. So I talked to Mona. I'm like, Mona, what's going on? She like, Fabe, I adore you. I'm like, Mona, I adore you too. She like, Fabe, I don't know what's going on and blah, blah, blah. I feel you was being shady toward me. I said I was. See how easy that was? You see how easy that was? See how this shit go? It's easy. It's real easy. Ain't it? Look at God. See, when you got the Lord in you, you tell the truth. The Lord helps you tell the truth. So Mona says... Mona said, um, well, that was really the only problem I had with you. I said, Mona, I feel like I the reason I shaded you is because you went and called on-site April two times, two times, complaining about me and sent her a clip of my video talking about this the reason you leaving YouTube. Mona was like, Fabe, that's not true. Huh? Huh? Mona say, Fabe, that's not true. Now, she was like, I did send a clip to April asking her what that was about. She was like, but as far as calling her to, she was like, I called on-site April to ask her for you to call me. I called on, this is what Mona said. Mona said that she called on-site April to ask on-site April to call me. So then you know what that looks like? It looks to me like on-site April tried to handle my business. That's what it looks like. And you wrong. You're out of pocket. All the way. All the way. Now that's that's strike one. This is so much. It's so much. It's so much. It's so much. That's strike one. Strike two. <laughs> Child, look. Let me tell you something. And don't come to me talking about Fai Bay. Fai Bay. You should talk to him behind the scenes. I tried to. But all of a sudden recently, ever since I left. Funky Dineva and, and sang down there for T.S. Madison. These people have been treating me so funny. So funny. And if they think I'm stupid and if they don't think I peep what they tried to do last night with this ponytail challenge and put all their strength on Rita. I'm happy y'all put all y'all strength on Rita, Sean. But I peeped that bullshit. I peeped it. But you can't come between us. Can't nobody come between what I want to do. Nobody. But what I'm going to tell you, Sean, you better watch on site. And then the fake Christians, like nothing disgusts me more than a fake Christian. Like if you are bold enough to, to fake before your God, like you're all holier than thou, and you're out here running amok in these streets, starting mess, cussing people out, lying, girl, that's disgusting. And I'm not even religious. I just think that if, if you're afraid of your God and you worship your God and you can lie and be the complete opposite of what you claim to be, that's disgusting. I don't want beef with you. I don't want to be nowhere around your energy. You're the greatest fraud because you're a fraud to yourself. You don't even believe in your own salvation. You are the joke. You're literally the joke. I don't watch your videos, but when people send me clips, I just laugh. You're the joke. I'm not going there with you. Why does Five have a problem with you? I thought y'all were cool. I thought we were cool too. We had a conversation when she first came after me. We agreed that, you know, it was a misunderstanding that she would not come for me anymore. She was like, oh, we queens, we black queens. We not gonna fight. We gonna show them a different way. And then she lied on Auntie April to try to get us because she was jealous of the attention I was getting from Auntie April. And so I, I knew she was lying, but I backed up because I figured that she was jealous and I didn't want to come in between their relationship if they had one first. And I love Auntie April, but I was like, you know what? I, if, they, if she had Auntie April first, I'm not gonna come in between their relationship. So I fell back. I fell all the way back. And then she kept coming for me. Like she kept sneaking it in, like working it up to come for me. So I said, you know what? Let me holler at Auntie April. 
I said, let me holler at Auntie April. So I hollered at Auntie April like, Auntie, you know, I had fell back because old girl lied on you. And um, I just didn't want to get in between that and have no beef over you. Auntie said, well, what, what was that? I sent the clip because, you know, I don't deal in fake receipts. I don't. Everything I deal with is real. I'm not fake like a lot of these people online. I'm not going to lie on people. Old girl tried to say, I hear five, babe, I don't watch your videos, but I hear she tried to say the clip was fake, it was doctored. It's your voice. What do you mean I doctored it? So I sent the whole tape from the ring to the goodbye. I got a doctor nothing. You know what you said. You know you lied on that woman. And you and she, I'm not the first person you lied to. Because yeah, I'd be in the streets. I heard that you've lied to plenty of people about her. And now you're saying you never trust no no TS, former TSCC member from what I hear? But you was trusting her when she was helping you. When you needed her. See how you flip-flopping? These people are fake. I'm just really trying to rock with the brain nation. Anybody want to... Look, I'm a woman that stands on my own two feet. I don't need anybody to support me, except for the brains. Like, I don't need any other content creators to support me or big me up. Just don't kick me down. Like, I don't need all that. Because you know you lying. None of y'all don't even know me. Not even Felicia. She don't know me. She met me twice, talked to me on the phone a few times. All this fake love. It's fake. You're not real. Okay? You are not real. You're fake. Do a self-check. Find out why you're so fake and hateful. Look into, a, okay, a spiritual bath. Look inside of yourself. Find out why you're so hateful. Why are you so ugly on the inside? Fi, babe, why are you so miserable? Heidi, why are you on that coke? And you on here squeezing Bibles and talking crazy. Talk sounding all confused. Why are you older than me running behind children? Trying to be part of children's gangs. V.S. Ain't you like 20 years her senior? You look pathetic. You should be leading her and showing her the right way. And you flip-flopping around here like you a teeny bopper. That's pathetic. Hating everybody else because you hate yourself. You told me not to record you. And then you recorded me. But see, I'm from the hood, so I recorded you anyway, boo. We ain't playing them games. I'm not stupid. Try again. But I'm not interested in releasing none of that. I'm really not. Because it's boring anyway. Like, you're like, like y'all worried about these call recordings. That shit is not interesting. We already know you like this person. You don't like this person. You talk about this person. You talk about that person. That's all y'all do. It's not interesting. And I'm not trying to act like I'm holier than now, but I'm just saying. Where is the greatness? Because y'all bounce around like y'all doing it. Like y'all straight up doing it. It's patheticism at its best. Right, why do they care about my degrees? Why do they care? I don't know. They're obsessed. So, ciao. And then people be like, I'm not coming on YouTube because it be too much mess. I can't handle it. Baby, listen. The tides change every day around here, okay? The tides change every day around here. Yeah, understand that. And everybody that, that got something to say about you don't hate you. I don't take it like that. I say, You know what? When I hear people say stuff about me, you know how I take it? That that's what they feel. That's how I take it. That's what they feel. That's what they feel. Can I change that? No. Can I just continue to do what I need to do and do things the way I see and feel that they are right? Yeah. Oh, baby, you better have tough skin on YouTube. You better have tough skin on YouTube.